So what we have here is a charge controller for my solar panels made from an old alternator. So real quick, let me show you my solar panels. They are, they average around 200 volts DC output and they are about a thousand watts a piece or 500 watts a piece. So let me show you here. Um, so that is 2.54 amps, 430 watts, you know, uh, and they average about 190 to 250 volts. So the one that I have hooked up right now, I haven't even hooked up my second one yet. There's the first one I've got hooked up right there. And then I take, there's obviously a positive and a negative out of the solar panel. And what you do is an alternator is a three phase motor basically and it has three output wires that output AC. If you take the back off an old alternator you will find that the winding oh goodness gracious whoo don't do that the I hope I didn't just burn it burn it up but anyway the alternator has three wires that come off of the windings and originally one goes here where that little bolt is one goes here where that little bolt is and then one goes here where that little bolt is okay so that's where it takes the ac out and then it gives you a 14 15 volt output with the positive being right here where my thumb is on there and the negative being the frame so what i did i played with multiple multiple ways to hook this up and what i found is if i take one output from the solar panel and put it on one of the terminals the outside terminals here that are from the three phase winding and then I take the other output from the from the uh, solar panel and put it here so my input would be here in here to the controller and then my output would be my positive is hooked up right here on the middle terminal where one of the windings usually go and then uh, the output is actually the frame of the housing so the the ground is the frame of the housing and then what I also found is if I take this one which is the negative from the solar panel and if I take this and I put this onto the housing as well and basically short that the negative from the solar panel to the housing I actually get a better output and what my output averages is about 14.4 volts which is exactly what you want so this thing is converting a 200 volt solar panel to a perfect 14.4 volt um, which is what you need to perfectly charge a battery so real quick let me show you I'm about to run out of time I'm gonna have to do another video um, I'll be right back and we'll do a test Okay, let's see what voltage we got. So I put a, this is the positive output from the alternator and I put a diode here to keep uh, the panels from draining the battery. Um, so we're gonna go before the diode right here and then over here to the negative. And you can see here we are getting, well you can't see. see if I can get this to stick in there there we go so we're getting exactly 14.1 14.2 volts and that is before the diode here and the negative which is directly from the alternator and the battery as well so I'm getting 14.2 volts which is absolutely awesome so then now I'm gonna go after the diode and let me get this in here. Well, I'm just going to go straight to the battery. When I go straight to the battery, I'm getting 12.27. And just a few minutes ago, that was at 12.23. So we'll watch and see if we can watch long enough. You will see the voltage go up. Oh, there it goes. There it is going up from 27 to 28. So I'm definitely getting a charge to my battery 
which is awesome. Yep, it'll hold it to eight in just a second. Bam, come on, cool. So this is how you use a alternator, old alternator as a charge controller for your solar panels. Um, oh, and let me show you this. One second. Okay, now what I've done is I've taken the negative output, which is right there at the yellow connector, the negative output from the solar panel, and I put an extra jumper wire and I jumped it to the casing of the alternator charger here. So basically I've connected it directly to the negative to the battery. So what that's done is that stepped up my voltage just a little bit. So we're on, we're going to go right here and we're going to go on the negative of the battery. And we're going to go right here before the diode. Because a minute ago we were getting 14.2. 14 14 and now you can see when I connected that together, I'm getting a perfect 14.4. So that is really cool. That's perfect charging voltage for a battery. So this is how you do it, guys. I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I appreciate you watching. I hope this helps. Okay, now what I've done is I've taken the negative output, which is right there at the yellow connector, the negative output from the solar panel, and I put an extra jumper wire and I jumped it to the casing of the alternator charger here. So basically I've connected it directly to the negative to the battery. So what that's done is that stepped up my voltage just a little bit. So we're on, we're gonna go right here and we're gonna go on the negative of the battery. And we're going to go right here before the diode. Because a minute ago we were getting 14.2. 14 14 and now you can see when I connected that together, I'm getting a perfect 14.4. So that is really cool. That's perfect charging voltage for a battery. So this is how you do it, guys. I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I appreciate you watching. I hope this helps.